Very good morning. Today, we are going to see about the three-phase circuit. What is a three-phase circuit? A three-phase system will employ voltage sources which consist of three voltage substantially equal in magnitude and displaced by the phase angle of 120 degree. Next, so a three-phase angle, so three phases are displaced by angle of 120 degree, that is R, Y and B phase. Uh, R, Y and B phase, say for example, if you are using single three-phase supply in your home, you will be seeing these colors of wires, that is R, Y and B, that is displaced by angle of 120 degree. Okay, so which is equal in the magnitude. So magnitude will be equal, but it, it will be displaced at the angle of 120 degree. What are the advantages of this polyphase system? Polyphase system or three-phase system in the sense that polyphase transmission line requires less conductor materials than the single phase line for transmitting same amount of power at the same voltage. Say for example, <coughs> if you are going for a single phase uh, lines, okay single phase lines so uh, you need to install the uh, poles okay uh, poles for installing single phase line so in single pole itself you can uh, transmit uh, say for example three phase in single pole itself so um, so the trans uh, so you can uh, transmit the same amount of power but at the same voltage, okay. So in the polyphase line, requires less conductor material than single phase line for transmitting same amount of power at the same voltage. So for the, um, if you want to set the more power, if you're using three phase lines, <laughs> three phase lines, so you can send to the in same tower itself, you can send the power to from one end to another uh, end. Uh, um, and also you can save the conductor materials also. If you go with single phase, again, you need to uh, transmit <coughs> one line again, one phase, again, one phase like that. So polyphase uh, transmission line is uh, mostly preferred. Next, the polyphase motors have uniform torque. Single phase motor have pulsating torque. Say, for example, uh, you are getting uh, displacement, no, 120 degree apart. So you are getting the, uh, the polyphase motors will have Uniform torque will be there, whereas the uh, single phase motor, uh, while running the single phase motor, you will be seeing this uh, <coughs> uh, pulsating torque. Pulsating torque is uh, the rotation is not uh, uh, full rotation, so you will get uh, um, stuck in the rotation. Uh, okay, so torque will be uniform in the three phase motors uh, than the single phase motor. So for that, only for single phase motors, we are going for a capacitor run. Um, induction motor, single phase induction motor, okay. So for getting this pulsating, uh, like a phase shift, we are going for a capacitor run single phase motor. Next, the power rating is high for poly polyphase motor. That is uh, sure because you are using three phase. Next, the polyphase induction motors are self-starting and more efficient. So if you see like a single phase induction motor is uh, not a self-starting one. For that, uh, we are going for a uh, one capacitor. If you see the ceiling fans, uh, you, you'll be seeing the uh, capa one capacitor. So that is capacitor start and capacitor run uh, induction motor. Okay, So always capacitors should be there uh, for that uh, ceiling uh, fan uh, motor. So whereas uh, for a uh, three-phase induction motor, um, uh, you, you will not able to connect the uh, uh, capacitor because it is a uh, uh, three phases there na? so almost uh, it is self-starting okay no need of starting uh, the uh, induction motor that is three phase induction motor so for same power rating power factor of polyphase uh, motor is higher than the single phase motor so power factor also will be more so in single phase system sorry in three phase system shown in the figure that is uh, one uh, in the figure Three phase and two pole generators. Three phase voltages are uh, generated by placing uh, three rectangular coils displaced at uh, uh, 120 degree in the uniform magnetic field. So we are placing the three rectangular coils. So when the field is excited and rotated, voltages will be uh, generated in the three phase uh, in according to the Faraday's law. So what is Faraday's law of uh, electromagnetic induction sensor? Whenever the conductor uh, moved in a magnetic field, automatically EMF will be 
generated. That is the Faraday's law. Although voltages are different by 120 degree, as shown in the figure, and uh, three waves are uh, will be displaced by 120 degree. So if you see this uh, uh, diagram, this uh, uh, three phase two pole uh, generator, only two poles are there. Three phase generator is there. Okay. So these are the uh, stator. This is the stator. Call, stator. Uh, we 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 will be having the armature uh, windings. Uh, this is the rotor. The rotor. So in a um, uh, generating station, what they will do is they will excite this uh, rotor by using the field, a DC field, separate DC supply. They will be exciting this uh, field, and also in the um, power generating station. So this uh, rotor will be rotated by using your turbine. So automatically, um, so at the initially you will have that uh, excite, uh, they will give that excitation. So after that, the turbine will be start rotating this. Okay. So uh, obviously you will get, uh, you will be generating the three phases. So these are the some of the rectangular coils. There's, uh, they say, for example, one coil, uh, second coil, third coil like that. So if automatically this is getting rotated automatically, you will be um, uh, getting the three phase supply. Okay, three phase supply will be there. So, uh, opposite to this, uh, say for example, opposite to this V phase, uh, V dash, uh, opposite to this Y dash, uh, Y phase, Y dash, and opposite to R phase, R dash. Okay? So, if it is uh, this uh, particular uh, um, uh, rotor, this two pole rotor is rotating, so automatically you will be generating the, say for example, first waveform. You can see here, first waveform that is uh, uh, with the R, okay? So R phase, uh, you'll be uh, generating, yeah, this is the one waveform. This is the one waveform. It will be having the 120 degree phase shift from 0 to 120 degree phase shift. So again, it will be having another uh, 120 degree phase shift. Okay, so like that, uh, it will be keeps on uh, uh, generating the uh, okay voltage and path. Okay, not the voltage; it is generating the path. So here, if you see here, yeah, this is the Y phase, no? So Y phase also generating power. The phase shift between these uh, two phases. Say for example, this is uh, pi. Okay, this is pi. This is two pi. This is pi. Okay, this is two pi. That is in radians, I am telling. So, uh, if it is in degrees, that is 180 degree and 360 degree. So, this is 180 degree and 360 degree. And if you see the phase, uh, phase shift between the three phases, say for example, this is one phase. Now, uh, we are generating the another phase, that is a y, uh, y, uh, y phase. So, if you see this y phase, yeah, this is the y phase. Okay, it is generating. So, uh, if you uh, compare this R phase and Y phase, what is the phase shift uh, between these two phases? So, what? 120. Okay. So, again, if you take this uh, um, next phase, next B phase, if you take this B phase, yeah, B phase is, uh, yeah, yeah, from here now. So, it is coming from here, B phase. So same, uh, see, one eight, uh, this two, between this two is, um, 180 but if you compare this uh, y and b phase the phase shift is uh, say for example this uh, between these two okay between these two is 120 degree similarly yeah between these two is again 120 degree like that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the phase shift uh, uh, will be Yeah, if you see, uh, draw the phase diagram for the generator voltage. So, say for example, this is the voltage generated from the R phase. This is the voltage generated from the Y phase and voltage generated from the B phase. So, you, here, three phases are displaced by 120 degree. So, three windings are identical since the magnitude of the three voltages are equal. Magnitude of the three voltages are equal. Magnitude in the sense of, yeah, this magnitude is equal. Okay, this magnitude is equal in the magnitude. So, whatever the voltage uh, that is equal. Um, okay, say for example, between um, this magnitude is uh, so 440 volts. So, that magnitude is equal for all the three phases. Here, um, 
the instantaneous values of the uh, emf generated in coils are uh, in the coils is r uh, r dash y y dash and v v dash is given so here er is equal to b maximum k the voltage generated from the r uh, r phase is v maximum into sin omega t the voltage generated from the y phase is nothing but v maximum into sin omega t minus 120 degree and the voltage generated from the b phase is v maximum into sin omega t minus 240 degree or otherwise 240 degree we can tell it as v maximum into sin omega t plus 120 Degree. So here, if you see the V maximum, V maximum is the maximum voltage generated from the generated EMF in the each uh, of uh, uh, the coil. So this omega t uh, is nothing but uh, uh, omega t is nothing but uh, your degree. Is this in uh, omega t is in radians? So this is nothing but theta. Okay, theta is nothing but a uh, um, uh, portion of the coils R R from the initial portion. Okay, in a portion of the coils. Say for example, if you see these coils, yeah, these are the portion of the coils R R dash, Y Y dash, P P dash. Okay, so three uh, phase, so phase shift is one twenty degree. If you measure the phase shift between all the three phases, it's one twenty degree. Yeah, the R M S values uh, that is a uh, uh, V R N, V Y N, and V V N are the three E M F has been represented by the uh, figure one point eight five. These are the, uh, the uh, these values are RMS values. That is, V R N, V Y N, and V B N are the okay. So RMS values that is uh, uh, have been represented by the figure, and uh, also having the phase shift as one twenty degree. So what is phase sequence? The phase sequence is uh, meant by the order in which uh, the phase voltage of three phase attains their peak or maximum uh, uh, positive values. The phase sequence R Y B. Okay, red, yellow, and blue normally means that red phase is uh, uh, followed by the Y phase, and the, which is followed by the blue phase. When the voltage of the red phase is maximum positive value, then the and the voltage of the Y phase will be one twenty degree behind this maximum positive value, and that of the B phase will be two forty degree behind this uh, maximum po um, positive value as shown in the figure. So um, uh, here. So, if you see the R phase, Y phase, and B phase, so Y phase is one twenty degree uh, with respect to R phase, and B phase with respect to R phase is two forty degree. Okay, with respect to uh, Y phase, it is one twenty degree. With the, uh, that is with, with respect to R, um, uh, with, if you take R phase as a reference phase, if you take the uh, Y phase, it is one twenty degree apart from that. So, if you see this. Uh, Waveform difference. It is one twenty degree apart from the R phase, and if you compare with the B phase, it is two forty degree ap apart from the R phase. That is what uh, said here. B phase will be two forty degree bigger in the maximum positive value shown in the figure. So the phase sequence of this these three uh, voltages uh, and the phases are assumed to rotate in the clock uh, counter clockwise direction. Okay, the phase sequence of three voltage phases are assumed to rotate in the counter clock, not in clockwise direction. It is in the counter clockwise direction. So they are assumed this in the counter uh, anti clockwise direction. That is a uh, um, yeah a phase uh, sequence between R and B phases at one twenty degree. And uh, phase uh, sequence between Y and the R phase is again one twenty degree, and uh, the phase uh, sequence uh, between the these two phases is a uh, uh, B and uh, N phase, uh, Y phase is again one twenty degree. So all in com uh, com counter clockwise direction like that uh, we are uh, assuming. So by interchanging the connection of any two phases, the phase sequence uh, of the systems uh, be changed. So what we are doing is. Uh, Um, if you interchange the any two phases, the phase sequence also will be changed accordingly. So now the interconnection of three phases, uh, the, each coil of three phases has two terminals. Say for example, S and E. Okay, and if they uh, say for example, uh, one coil is taken as a, only one coil is taken uh, as your uh, better understanding, S and E. Okay, so that coil is taken. If the individual phase is connected to separate the Um, load as shown in the uh, figure uh, one uh, figure that is a non uh, interlinked three phase occurs 
okay so if the individual phase one one uh, coil is connected to separate load that is a non interleaved three phase occurs uh, but uh, even though say for example we are considering for all the three phases so this is one phase this is one phase and this is one phase we are connected to each one load okay s and e like that uh, which is connected to each one load so that is a non uh, interlinked three phase system occurs such arrangement requires two conductors for each uh, phase so for each phase two conductors so, so that is total of six conductors for a three phase system it causes the whole uh, system complicated and uh, expensive if you generate like that like a uh, one phase one phase and one phase so uh, for uh, generating three phase six conductors is required so for one phase two conductors is required for uh, uh, three phase six conductors surface. so the system whole system become complicated and the expensive also because you need more number of conductors for generating this uh, one one uh, uh, single phase together as a three phase so therefore three phase are interconnected which results in a great saving of the copper used for the conductor so so what uh, we are doing is three phase are interconnected all three phase are interconnected which results in the great uh, saving in the copper used in the conductors so that is one advantages so this is the three phase winding with six conductor lines so now you uh, you can make a difference how one conductor uh, can do and all conductors together how three phase generation that you understood now the general methods of con uh, connection okay so connection for this uh, three phase are first is star connection or y connection next is a uh, delta connection or mesh connection. So in star connection, uh, three windings are connected in star. That is in this method uh, interconnection, similar ends are joined together at the point, neutral point, end point. Okay. So only three wires are carried to external circuit having the three phase. So as I said before, from the generating station to your substation, there will be only three windings, sorry, three um, lines three lines, uh, transmission lines are uh, uh, coming to your generating station, to your substation. And after uh, substation to your uh, um, distribution transformer, so you will be finding nearby your streets distribution transformer. So that distribution transformer also, up to distribution transformer, you will be finding only three lines. Okay. Uh, if you see uh, uh, near to distribution transformer, if you stand near to distribution transformer, that will be uh, left side you will be seeing uh, if you stand in front of distribution transformer left side you will be seeing three uh, lines are coming to to that that particular distribution transformer after the distribution transformer it is going nearby your streets no there you will be finding four wire okay so there also three phase four wire that is star connection this is delta connection okay so that distribution transformer is in the uh, form of Delta to star connected transfer. So that's what, that's what I explained here. Only three wires carried to external circuit of giving the three phase three wire system. If neutral neutral wire is taken out, then the system will become a three phase and four wire system. Okay, three phase and four wire system. So the voltage between any line and neutral point is known as phase voltage, and the voltage between any pair of terminal is known as a line voltage here if you see this is the star connector system this is the r phase y phase and uh, b phase okay say for example this is the voltage uh, this uh, you consider this as a uh, generator okay so the voltage generated from the uh, this particular coil is prn the voltage generated from this particular bbn the voltage generated from this particular coil is a byn Okay, so um, if you see here, uh, V, R, and that is with respect to neutral, with respect to neutral. So this is the three phase. Okay, so if you uh, take uh, uh, the V, R, and V, Y, N, and V, B, N are nothing but the phase voltage. Okay, phase voltage. So what is line voltage in the sense uh, the voltage difference between R and Y? Okay, so R and Y. Say, for example, R and Y, that is this, uh, this particular part is V, R, Y. Okay, and what is uh, that is equal to V, Y, B. This particular two uh, voltage also will be same. And that is equal to V, B, R. Okay, B, R. So, this also will be same to line voltage. Okay, that is the line voltage. 
So here in the star connected system, IL is equal to I phase. Okay. So current will be in the phase. Okay. So only the voltage is equal to voltage is equal to root 3 into V phase. Okay. Voltage is equal to root 3 into V phase. That is the star connected network. Next, the current flowing in any phase winding is a uh, is called a phase current and the current flowing in uh, any line is called line current that you know that is uh, uh, the current flowing in any phase is called phase current the current flowing in any line is called line current but in star connection i l is equal to i phase in the star connection two phase windings are between each pair terminals but uh, since uh, their similar ends have been joined together okay similar ends are joined together two phase are and uh, Two phase windings between each pair terminals, but uh, their similar ends, similar ends are joined together. Uh, they are in opposition. Therefore, the instantaneous value of potential difference between any two terminals is the automatic difference of the two phase guns. So, the potential difference between uh, uh, difference is given by the vector difference of the two phases of the EM. So, that is a BRN is equal to. Vyn is equal to Vpn is nothing but uh, V phase, that is uh, nothing but phase uh, EMF, that is whatever generator, phase EMF. Line voltage, line voltage is nothing but uh, Vry is equal to Vl. So um, that is vector difference between Vr and Vy. Say, for example, if you consider two phase Vr, so similarly, Vyb is nothing but Vyn minus Vbn. Okay, so V Y B. So V Y B is nothing but V Y B is nothing but V B N. Okay, minus V. Sorry, V Y N minus V B N. V Y N minus V B N. That is nothing but V Y. And this, with respect to neutral, with respect to neutral. V Y B is nothing but V Y N minus V B N, which gives the V Y B. So again, I will highlight here V Y B is equal to okay V Y N. Okay, this voltage V Y N minus V B N. Okay, similarly, V B R is equal to V B N minus V R. That is the line voltage. Here, here you will be seeing the vector diagram of the star connected network. Vector the diagram, see if you see here, vector diagram, yeah, this is the VRN, um, yeah, of, uh, this, this is the VYN, okay, so this is the VRN. BRN is one line. This line is BRN. Okay. Next, uh, this is the BYN. Next, this is the BBN. This the this all uh, three phases uh, is uh, uh, um, having the one twenty degree phase shift among all these three. One twenty degree phase shift. So, for better understanding, what we are doing is we are taking only. Uh, uh, say, say for example one phase so here uh, um, if you take this uh, this is a v, this is a vrn okay we are calculating vry that is line voltage we are calculating line voltage we are calculating so opposite of vny is nothing but uh, minus uh, vyn okay vyn is equal to opposite of uh, minus vyn that uh, is equal to minus V, Y, N. Here, V, R, N is there. So, the resultant, resultant to this is a V, R, Y. That is nothing but line voltage. So, if you measure this angle, so this angle is nothing but a 60 degree. The whole angle is 60 degree. And each angle, this angle is 30 degree. And this is 30 degree. And this angle is 30 degree. This is 30 degree and this angle is 30 degree. If you are making the vector rotation, similarly for all. So just one uh, I have explained. Similarly, for you can take for any phases and you can um, understand. 
So here, this is the vector diagram of star connected vector. So what is the voltage relationship in the sense? The potential difference between R and Y is R, B, R, Y is equal to B, R and minus B, Y. Okay. So B, R, Y is equal to B, R and minus B, Y. And that is nothing but a, um, a vector difference. That is nothing but potential difference. Okay. So that is the vector sum. So B, R and plus B, Y. Actually, it is the vector sum. But here it is minus V Y N no, so so it is V R N minus V Y. But actually it is a vector sum. So V R N is found by compounding V R N and V Y N reverse. That is the values given by the diagonal of parallelogram. So it is looking like a one parallelogram. Okay. So if you add all the angles, uh, it will come uh, uh, three three sixty degree. Okay, so one one angle, if you add all, it will come together. So if you take off of the, it will come 180 degree like that. Yeah, so uh, that uh, the angle between R and, and uh, V, Y, N. So if you take a V, R, Y, okay, V, R, Y is nothing but uh, this V, R, Y is nothing but um, 2 into V, R, N to cos 30 degree. Okay, so 2 um, here also 30 degree, here also 30 degree. So 2 into V, R, n into cos 30 degree. Okay, so Vrn, this is Vrn. So here one uh, uh, Vrn cos theta, uh, cos 30 degree is there. Here one Vrn cos 30 degree is there. So 2 into Vr, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this particular angle and this particular angle are same now. So we can write this uh, 2 into Vrn to cos 30 degree. So cos 30 degree is nothing but root 3 by 2. So into 2. So if you calculate that, so you will get a 2, 3 into V phase. So uh, this is very important. VL, line voltage, uh, nothing but root 3 into V phase. Root 3 into V phase. The angle between VR and v, uh, v, uh, VYN is a reversal is a 60 degree. Okay. So then only that value uh, we are calculating. Similarly, for a, um, a, a VYB, VYB is nothing but VL. So, VL is nothing but VYN minus VB. So, that is also if you calculate the same because all are uh, all are same parallelogram, no? So, same answer will come. So, root 3 to V phase. Similarly, you can also do for uh, one uh, particular VYYB and VBR. So, VB, VBR is nothing but VL. Okay. So, here if you see VBR is nothing but VL. So, VBL is nothing but VBN. Uh, minus VR. Okay. Similarly, VYB is nothing but VYN minus VBN. Like that, you can also calculate. So, same answer will come. Root 3 into V phase. So, therefore, we have concluded that VL is equal to root 3 V phase. That is, line voltage is nothing but root 3 times the phase voltage. So, if you see the current relationship for a delta connected, all the current will be same. That is IR is equal to IY is equal to IB is equal to I phase. Okay, that is uh, IL is equal to I phase. So if you see the power, power is nothing but VA cos phi. Okay, so uh, VA cos phi. So uh, cos phi is the power factor, you know. So phi is the phase angle between the um, phase voltage and the corresponding phase current. So um, if you see the total uh, power fed to the three phase with the balance three phase is nothing but V is equal to 3 into power per phase. So, 3 into B phase, I phase into cos phi. We know that B phase is equal to VL divided by root 3 I phase. Uh, sorry, B phase is equal to VL divided by root 3. Yeah. And uh, I phase is equal to IL. So, uh, this equation will become uh, P is equal to the 3 into VL divided by root 3 into IL into, so VL is nothing but V uh, phase. Okay. V is equal to 3 into V phase into IL into cos phi. V phase equal to VL divided by root 3. So if you uh, uh, just uh, um, simplify this, you will get a P is equal to root 3 VL IL cos phi. So power is equal to root 3 VL IL cos phi. So apparent power. So apparent power is uh, nothing but uh, root 3 into VL IL. That is from that uh, power triangle. So in balanced system, the potential of the neutral or star point is zero. 
So if you add all this uh, voltage, V, uh, N, R, neutral, uh, with respect to um, uh, neutral R phase, with respect to uh, neutral yeah, Y phase, with respect to blue, so you will get zero. So if you ca calculate what is the point at that particular star point, it will be zero. Similarly, for delta connected, delta connected, uh, one uh, starting end of one phase is connected to finishing end of the another phase. Starting end of the one phase is connected to finishing end of the another phase. So uh, uh, then V R Y is equal to V Y P uh, is equal to V B R is equal to V phase. That is V L. So in uh, um, if you take I R I I uh, that is nothing but the um, current is root three I phase. Here voltage is constant. Okay, that is the delta connector system. So the uh, the power generated from that particular is I uh, sorry not power generated yeah yeah if you take this uh, power uh, delta connected uh, generator so I R B okay I R B is nothing but uh, uh, root three into I phase that is uh, one uh, I R is nothing but root three into I phase like that so um, then uh, um, the voltage the voltage is will be same as uh, for the uh, line voltage V R Y is equal to B Y B is equal to B R Y B Y B and uh, B B R. So these are all equal to the line voltage. Okay, so that relations also we will see here. So line voltage is equal to phase voltage. So here uh, I R is equal to if you take one uh, any one current I R is equal to if you see in this uh, um, phasor diagram vector diagram. Um, yeah. This is all, uh, this is uh, I, Y, R. Say, for example, this is, uh, um, yeah, uh, I, Y, R. Uh, here it is, uh, no, this is the, yeah, this is I, Y, R. Okay, current uh, generator I, Y, R. So, this is the uh, um, I, B, Y, and uh, this is the I, R, B. Okay, so I'm uh, highlighting here. This is the I Y R. This is the I B uh, Y. That is a B Y, and this is the R B. So all are displaced with the angle of 120 degree. If you take the resultant, resultant. So this uh, opposite is uh, see. For example, one thing. If uh, this you consider uh, I R B. If it is opposite, is minus I R B. Okay, here uh, the resultant, uh, what is IR is nothing but uh, this IYR plus uh, IYR plus IRB. So it is in minus, so IYR minus IRB. Okay, similarly, uh, that, uh, that only uh, explained over here. Um, here, IR is nothing but IYR minus IRB. Uh, that is a vector uh, sum. Okay, vector sum. And similarly, I Y is equal to I Y uh, I B Y minus Y uh, Y B. That is nothing but I R B uh, minus I uh, B Y. Okay, uh, like that. Uh, uh, also, you can represent all I uh, I R I Y I B. That you can calculate. I B is nothing but I R B minus I B Y. I Y is nothing but uh, uh, I B Y minus uh, I Y R. Similarly, what is IR is IR in the sense uh, IR is equal to 2 into I, I, IP into cos phi. Okay. So uh, this is uh, uh, one I phase into cos 30 degree. Here uh, one again I phase into cos phi. So if you add so in 2 into. So that, that is nothing but uh, cos 30 is uh, uh, cos 30 degree into um, 2. So cos root 3 by 2 into 2. So, that is that will give you root 3 into I phase. So, I R is nothing but root 3 into I phase. That is nothing but line voltage, nothing but root 3 into I phase. Um, so, um, V L is equal to V phase. So, V L uh, is equal to V phase, all V phase. Okay, V R uh, equal to V uh, um, Y. So, that are all same. Okay, phase voltage is same. Uh, and current only root 3 I phase in the delta connected system. Yeah, IY is equal to IB is equal to root 3 into I phase. IL is equal to root 3 into I phase. So, line current is equal to root 3 into phase current. So, power, if you take the power uh, B, B phase, I phase into cos phi, same. Uh, B is equal to 3 into B phase, I phase, cos phi. So, B phase is equal to root uh, BL. 
and i phase equal to il by 2 3 that you substitute over here power is equal to this uh, here, in this equation 3 into vl into il into root 3 cos pi so uh, if you simplify this uh, in the power you will get as uh, root 3 into vl il cos pi pi is nothing but power factor angle so apparent power you know from power tri triangle that is root 3 into vl into il Okay, so in balance system, the resultant EMF in the closed circuit is will be zero. That is, B R Y plus B Y B plus B B R is equal to zero. If there is no circulating current in the uh, delta, that is in mesh, no load is connected to the line. What is balance supply? A supply is said to be balanced if all three phase voltages are equal in magnitude and displaced by the 120 degree. That is called your balanced supply. What is meant by balanced load? If the load is said to be balanced, if all the impedance in all the three phase are equal in mag uh, magnitude and the phase, then it is called equal and uh, balanced load. Balanced supply is nothing but yes, uh, supply is said to be balanced. All the three voltages are equal in magnitude and displaced by 120 degree angle. What is balanced load in the sense? Uh, a load is said to be where all the impedance in all the three phase are equal in the magnitude, balanced load. So, uh, say for example, in your uh, um, in, uh, house connection, the, that will be outside, uh, you will be seeing three phases, uh, three uh, four lines uh, will be there. One is R phase, one is uh, Y phase and one, one is B phase and another one line is neutral phase. So, uh, what they will do is they will connect, uh, uh, say for example, 200 uh, um, uh, homes are uh, some 150 homes are there in particular uh, connected to uh, one distribution transform. So 150 homes they will connect it to uh, one R phase. One uh, another 50 uh, homes they will connect it to Y phase. Another 50 homes they will connect it to um, uh, blue phase. So all three will be balanced. So that is what I said here. A load is said to be balanced if all the impedance are in three phase are equal in magnitude and phase. Okay. So that is called your balanced load. 